let's talk about email marketing. Now in today's video, I'm going to break down the five email marketing mistakes to avoid as a realtor. And if you're not taking advantage of email marketing in this day and age, then you are missing out on a major opportunity to be able to connect with the people that are in your CRM in a way that doesn't require you picking up the phone every five seconds uh, to try to talk to them, right? Now, not everybody likes to uh, be talk to 8 30 9 30 in the morning when oftentimes we're doing our prospecting and if someone is already on your email list then you know chances are possibly that's their preferred form of communication but either way it is a big opportunity to be able to connect with them so i want to break down what the mistakes are that you might be making and before we dive into that i just want to remind you that I'm Amanda Fazlani, co-founder of Design for Agents, where we help real estate professionals close more deals by mastering your marketing and branding and production strategies, right? Just have to put that in there in case this is your first time here. And if it's not your first time here, you've watched more than one video, I hope you hit that subscribe button already so we can just get that out of the way and get to the goods. All right, so number one is violating the can spam laws. What exactly does that mean? adding people to your email list that didn't want to be there in the first place now this is a totally newbie mistake um, and i don't mean newbie realtor i mean newbie email marketer right you want to make sure that the people that are being added to your email list or your crm for that matter are actually people who want to be in there and i'm not saying that you know you hosted an open house and someone like you know just really did not want to sign the sign-in sheet and you go and you like type their email in and you're like oh i know they don't really want to be in my email list but i'm going to put them anyway i'm not talking about something like you know so gray area like that i'm talking about like you blatantly going and like paying for an email list or like going on people's profiles or linkedin and like stealing everyone's stealing everyone's email list uh emails and adding them to your list right I i'm talking about like really just going out there and like cold email list building that is not the way to do it um that's going to lead to a lot of unsubscribes a lot of email bounces a lot of people marking you as spam um which is going to be a big red flag and hurt you in the long run um as far as your email deliverability goes so you want to make sure that you avoid that at all costs number two is sort of obvious but you want to make sure that you are collecting emails at every opportunity so if you are hosting open houses, collect those email addresses. Make sure they're legible. Oh, oh, I can't even tell you how many times we would host open houses and you know we'll bring a newer agent along with us and you know they're manning the table they're they're you know getting <laughs> getting their feet wet and you come to the table 20 minutes later and you're like what what is this chicken scratch like come on <laughs> so one way a quick tip if you're hosting open houses and you want to make sure that people don't um, sign in with chicken scratch you can offer some type of giveaway uh, like free movie tickets or a giveaway for like a bakery gift card or a target gift card anything give away for free coffee right keep it simple um, but the idea is that a person is more likely to put the correct information and make it legible if they know that you might have to reach out to them in order to get their their goodies right uh, so make sure that you're collecting emails everywhere you go for example um, networking events all those business cards you get put them in your email list even if they are agents right every agent out there cannot possibly be aware of every single listing that comes about and you updating them on something that you just listed is just as great as you updating everyone else who is a potential buyer or seller in your CRM. Number three is not sending emails consistently. So a lot of times agents will get started with email marketing and they kind of feel in a slump like, okay, I've sent a few emails, but I really don't know what to send out this week. It just feels so taxing. Like what, what type of content do I put out there? And the truth is, is that it doesn't have to be this like extremely long email, right? Perfect example is Ricky Carruth, who talks about the fact that he sends out an email I think for over a decade now every Wednesday and I've seen the emails like they're very very they're well done right but it's a simple strategy that he uses where it's got just lists 
just sold links to all the usual content that a buyer or seller would be interested in um, but every now and then he sprinkles in some type of content whether it be about what's happening in the market what's happening locally what's happening in his personal life and and that's really what it's about right getting creative not stressing it too much having some consistency in there right because maybe a buyer is looking or your email and it's it's been a while since they received it and then they kind of forgot they can't find it so they say whatever I'll just talk to the next agent that reaches out to me and it could have been you if you were sending them those weekly emails now as far as email frequency I would say once a week should be the minimum but every two weeks could be where you start off especially if you're brand new but once a week is a, a good good place to start um, and it's not so overwhelming that you know you have to come up with content every single day number four is taking unsubscribes personally now this one's really hard I remember when you know we had our team in New York and we were helping our agents get their e email marketing fine-tuned and I had one agent actually come to me very emotional because she got a bunch of unsubscribes and these were from people that she had genuine conversations with over the phone and you know I, I had to explain to her that sometimes one people don't know what they're unsubscribing to they just get annoyed by an email in general and they'll just hit that button uh, number two sometimes it can be an accident number three you might have had a conversation with someone on the phone um, but they didn't put two and two together that you're the person they spoke to and it's the same person who's emailing them so they unsubscribe and number four they just genuinely are not interested in what it is that you're offering and that is okay and that's something that you have to um just just swallow like it, it's okay and if anything you want them to unsubscribe from your email list and here's why when someone unsubscribes from your email list that means that they are no longer hurting your chances of uh, you know getting marked as spam right they're not going to mark you as spam the email you know you won't run into bounce issues later on if they decide to deactivate that email address like you should have in your email list only people who are interested in getting emails from you and if they're not interested in getting emails from you then there's no reason for them to be there because it is a waste of your budget your resources your time and it, it allows you to just you know focus on what matters right so don't take it to heart now number five is not sharing valuable content right so we talked about that weekly email and we mentioned you know putting some type of content in there whether it's something about your personal life a, a success story something about the market right you want to make sure that you're not just emailing just sold just listed right you want to mix some other things in there like local events anything that a buyer or seller would be interested in um, so you want to to keep that content fresh right don't just go out there and send only properties uh, to people in your email list so there you have it. Those are the five email marketing mistakes that realtors make when it comes to, you know, keeping your CRM people alive. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let us know in the comments what you're struggling with in your real estate business and we will create content around it. And if we're not experts in it, we'll find someone who is and create content with them for you. I will see you in the next video, but be sure to hit uh, the, the link in the description below to sign up for Marketing Mondays. It is a free newsletter that we send out every Monday and it is chock full of content that will help you grow your real estate business. So go check that out.